during the time when Michael Donham back in 1981 got lynched in Alabama in March. Do you not know there was a black man in the same year that was killing his own black people? Trying to let folk know in other religions, this not just on your racism thing, this is a spiritual warfare. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Brother James. Someone say amen. God bless you. Amen, amen. amen my good brother. You're too blessed to be stressed. I'm doing great. Ain't God good? All the time. You're looking great too, brother. Your heart looks better than my shoes because your heart is right with God. God bless you, young man of God. Praise God. See, God is just in this heart. Praise God. Ain't nothing wrong with a nice suit, but I want my heart to be right. The devil can wear a nice suit. A wolf in sheep clothing? Praise God. Do you not know, going back to what I said, the same year that Michael Donner got lynched and hung on the tree back in Alabama because of racism, there was a black man the same year killing his own black people. So this is not just only just a racist thing. This is a spiritual warfare. Because now we got black people killing each other too. Calling each other niggas. You're not my nigga, you're my brother. You're not my nigga, you're my sister. What we need is the Holy Ghost, and you don't need to take no drug overdose. This is a spiritual thing. This thing go beyond color. The devil wants us to kill each other. He don't want us to love one another. He wants us to hate each other. He wants us to be divided. Get with Jesus Christ and let us all unite and let us not fight. Let it be unity in the community. This thing go beyond racism. This is a spiritual warfare. Thank you, my good brother. I'm so happy to see you today. Come on, give me a hug. I love you, brother. You're looking sharp today. We're telling the truth, Albert. The Bible says, Esau, know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Tell someone, thank God for the truth. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. So this is beyond just color. The devil wants us to kill ourselves. So when you kill your brother and sister, you're really killing yourself. I know you didn't kill yourself physically, but you killed somebody else. So now that brings damnation upon you. Because the Bible sit down and should not kill. Do you not know that when you kill yourself, that's a sin? Do you not know that when you want to kill yourself, that's a sin? If the Bible sit down and should not kill, how can God tell you to kill yourself when God loves you? The devil don't want you to love yourself. When you love God, he'll teach you how to love you. Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? Many of you don't love yourself because you was a black sheep in your family. You was told that you'll never be nothing. And this is why you don't love yourself. Now, loving yourself does not mean to be arrogant. That's, right. That's being self-confident. Difference between being cocky and confident. See, when you're cocky, that means you're prideful. Like Lucifer got puffed up. According to Isaiah chapter 14, the Bible said, and his heart became lifted up with pride. He thought he could take God's place. Nobody can take God's place. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost, you don't need no drug overdose. Lucifer and the angels who followed Lucifer, not every angel followed him, was cast out of heaven. Now he's called the devil. He's called the dragon. He's called a liar and he's a father of lies and the truth is not in him. And now his fallen angels are called demons. So there's nothing wrong with being self-confident. So when Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself, that's being self-confident, but love God more. Don't love money more than you love God. I saw the greed of money has did the preachers. Begging for money. See $2,000 in the mail. No! We're not supposed to preach for money. The love that God wants to give to you is for free. And you don't need no LSD. Jesus came to set you free in the year of 2023. Can you say amen to somebody? He already paid the price on the cross. Hallelujah. For the loss. When we was yet in sin, Christ died for the ungodly. And then he arose from the dead the third day morning. Death could not hold Jesus down. The grave could not hold Jesus.